This video is going to be on my folding roof uh, for my golf cart so that I can fit my golf cart inside of my enclosed trailer. Um, this thing's got 32s on it, along with a pretty massive lift. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm basically making me some pieces to go on the sides. This is going to have a 45 degree angle cut and uh, this is going to fold forward because I had more room in the front for clearance than I did in the rear. And what gave me this idea, there was actually one other guy on YouTube that had done this on his golf cart. Um, he didn't have to drop it as much as I did. I have to drop mine 16 inches. So when this folds down, it has to fold from here all the way down up against the steering wheel. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to drive this up in there with that down. Um, I'll just use my winch, which will be inside on the floor. Uh, I'll be able to do it with a remote control. It's no big deal, but my main... Uh, main objective here is to get that to fold down to give me some clearance so there's going to be a bolt here going to be a bolt up top where this drill is those will be my two pivot points and then this third hole is where i'm going to have a pin that just goes through there where i'll be able to take that out do the same thing back here on the rear on these two posts which I may, I may end up having to make those posts uh, straight up and down. I don't know yet because those are angled. Uh, but this is all trial and error at this point. Uh, what I have right here, I may end up having to cut this and redo it again. Because I'm not exactly sure on the ratios as far as how much drop I'm going to get. The way I have it right now, I need 16, inch, 16 inches of drop. And I'll have 16 inches from this bolt hole down to right here where that line is which is where the cut is going to be so from the cut to that top pivot point i have 16 inches right here that should fold forward and down up against that steering wheel hopefully all right so before i cut anything uh, as far as these angles on these posts uh, i went through and drilled everything out first this is just sitting in there just to keep that from moving. This pin will be down here, but uh, I got the top hole drilled out. These drilled out all the way through both sides. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And then uh, I'll take that off and cut this angle down here on the bottoms. So from this top hole, where that top pivot bolt will be, down to my cut right here, where that red angled line is, that's 16 inches. And I need 16 inches of drop, because from the top of that steering wheel to the bottom of that roof is 16 inches. So hopefully, I'm not, like I said earlier in the video, I'm not sure on the ratio of exactly how this is going to work but i'm hoping i get 16 inches out of that when this drops down i may not i'll find out it may be too much it may be not enough i don't know yet and then another thing i got to worry about too is if this gives me my 16 inches that i need this right here so when this comes down brings this down like this to give me my 16 inches of drop I still have to compensate for this distance that's already on the front of this roof so I'm worried that I may actually be my 16 out plus this amount out the front which will put me too far out um, in which case if that happens what I'll have to do is just bring that top hole down 
and compensate for this right here hanging off the front. But then I may be short on my my drop down length. So I don't know yet. This is all kind of experimental. All right, so right now I have this side cut. You can see this cut right here. And I just put top bolt in, bottom bolt in, and I went ahead and put this bolt in with a regular bolt instead of that pin for now, just to keep this all centered up. And now I'm gonna come over. Now that I have that side cut and hooked back together, I'm gonna come over, pull these back off out of my way. I got these holes drilled on this side now. Um, and I'm gonna cut this side with that side bolted up and all back together. Cut one side at a time. All right, so I have this other side cut and I have both of my pins in right now on both sides. Um, now keep in mind, I don't know exactly how this is gonna go. So uh, this is all gonna be on video. This is the first time for me. I haven't dropped this down yet. So um, the back half, I just disconnected that up top until I can see what's going to happen here with the front of this. I don't want to go removing these bars and everything yet until I see how far forward this is going to go and how far down it's going to go. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Um, so I'm completely unhooked in the rear right now. This is just pushed forward and it's looking like I am too far forward. You can see how far I am from that front tire. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to take some off of these. The good thing is I have a lot of room here. I'm touching on the steering wheel. And I'm actually, right now I'm actually resting on that steering wheel. That's what's holding the back portion of that up right now. Um... So I can definitely take some of these out, or take some of this out on these, on these uh, metal pieces. That's the good thing about starting with long pieces. Uh, with this being in the experimental stages, I can always come back and cut some more out. I only have to move this one hole back on both sides. Uh, but I think I have plenty of room to come back on that. <clears throat> and still be up against the steering wheel when it's all the way down. And I got plenty of room here to where I can remove some here. And when this comes down, it'll still sit in front of the front of my golf cart. So, uh, right now I basically just want to get the front portion of this mastered. The back isn't gonna be an issue. The back will be the easy part. Um, I just got to get this front situated and get the length just right on this and then I'll move back to the rear but uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and do some measurements and figure out how far I need to move this hole back all right so I'm going to bring I'm going to bring this hole back eight inches so it'll be right there where my finger is And I'm not going to cut any of this off yet. I'm still going to leave all this in case I end up going down too far. I can come back up. Uh, at least till I have it where I want it and I can come back and cut the extra off. But what I'll do is I'll fold this all back up. And then I'll have to re-drill this through here. And this hole will be down here farther. And then when this goes down, this won't come down so far forward. But I'm just hoping that I have it just right to where it still comes down to where it's up against the front of that or top of that steering wheel right there because that's the clearance that I need to get in and out of my enclosed trailer. All right, let's try this again. I moved those bolts down and uh, I put this piece of foam over the front of this just to make sure I don't scratch the front of my golf cart.
Okay. I'll flip this around. All right, so you can see I'm even with my front tires now because the center portion of these tires, that's my farthest distance I can go in my trailer. I don't have any room in front of there going this direction. So I have to make sure that my roof isn't, isn't going past that. So that should be perfect. Now, I am not all the way up against my steering wheel right now which I need to be. Um, but I think I can get pretty close to that once I drop the back down. Once I hinge this back section down, I should be able to get in there pretty tight, hopefully, uh, to where I need it. Now this front, when I drop this back down, this front may come forward some more as well. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Cause I still may end up having to come back a little bit more with this bolt hole one more time um, if this comes forward anymore when I drop the back down so I got to try and get everything just right on this um, but like say if this was where I wanted it when I was all done I would be coming back and cutting these off so this section here wouldn't be there anymore So I took those two uh, two metal bars off the rear and you can see here now I'm down on my steering wheel. The front did not come out any farther. So my tires are sticking out farther than my roof, which is exactly what I wanted. And I'm down where I need to be on the steering wheel to clear my roof. And I can actually come up a little on the rear because I'm actually bubbling up right here where my steering wheel was. Uh, so I can have this back drop down to about right there when it's down all the way. And that'll give me uh, my clearance that I need. Uh, so for this front section, I'm gonna call this done as far as the mock-up. Um, I'll still have to go through, take everything off, paint everything. Um, I may even take this piece off. And you can see how this was two pieces of, two different pieces of metal. Um, I may go ahead and make this bottom section again and just make that all one piece, weld me up a nice piece to go down there. Uh, Cause I've been wanting to get rid of that anyway. So when I bought this golf cart, it had this bottom section where it hooked onto the cart right here on the hood, but it, did, it was missing all the bars that went up on the sides. So I may clean that up a bit before I go through uh, getting this all perfect and painting everything. These will also have nylon washers in between everything. So it'll make this all hinge real good. And then I'll clean up all these edges real good, file all this down real nice make it decent but uh so far so good so i got everything pushed back up now uh, i got my pins in both sides for the time being so back here because I want to keep my cut relatively low on these bars and these are curved. Um, I have this section here, which just so happens to be 12 and a half inches, which is perfect. Um, so where that, where that second hole that I ended up going with, which is right here, from here to where this bottom bolt is, is exactly 12 and a half inches. So if I come up, I measured right above this washer and to the bottom of this metal plate right here, that's my 12 and a half inches. So that'll be perfect for back there. So what I'll do is I'll do the exact same amount 
I'll cut me off four more pieces that are the length from here to here. And then I'll measure up from right here up. And that's where I'll put my cut in the exact same spot back here in the rear. Um, and I'll put that in the video. This is going to be a two-part video. Um, this is going to be the end of video number one. But I'll come out here tomorrow and I'm going to start on the rear. And I'll get that all on video as well. Because I know this video is already getting pretty long as it is. So I'm going to split it up into two. Um, I was trying to get as much detail on this as I could. Now, most of your golf carts, anyone else who would do this, these measurements are going to be different. Because this golf cart's huge. This roof's real high. I got these big wheels and stuff on there. Um, but you can still use the same concept and you could still start off like I did with a long piece and just experiment with it from the top going down until you get the height that you need. And then you can just cut it off. So that's going to be it. We'll see you guys tomorrow on video number two.